Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. Today we're going to make a star, like a decorative holiday star. That'd be fun. And I'll start with a cylinder. I'll do it from the front back, left to right, so it's not falling on the ground or anything. Starts off with the default number of sides, probably like 24 or something. We're going to bring that down to 10, which will bring me a 5-point star. If I have like 12, that'll be a 6-point star, whatever you want to make. Uh, height segments, I really don't need any yet. Let's just bring that down to the minimum, which is 1, which means no extra sections, just one section there. Okay, make this into an editable polygon. Now you know how to do that, just right click, convert to. Yeah, right click, convert to editable polygon. Awesome. Alright. Now I want to make some different sections in here, but first I'm going to grab and I'll make this bigger so you can see. Every other set of points. This is a pretty standard operation. I've done this many times in lots of tutorials. And I'll scale it, not from the center here, from the outside. Scale it in. Like that. Until it looks good to you. Now this is just the uh, wireframe. It might look strange and it does. Take a look here. It might look strange from another view. That's just a glitch. It shouldn't happen like this, but sometimes it does in 3ds Max. And it really is a glitch. It'll even render that way, which is terrible. So grab this strange glitchy polygon, I'll delete it, and I'll fix it. I'll grab the border, click that, that highlights all the border around there, and hit cap to totally close that off. When that's closed off, I can keep working with it. I'll go to the polygons in the front and the back, and I'll inset them. The star is done, but I'm just going to make it a bit fancier. I'll inset this like that, and I'm going to do a bridge just to close it up. There we are. So now I have an open star, which is fine. Well, maybe I want to do something a little bit more. I'll go select my edges from a side view like this. Let's make that a bit larger so you can see. Select the edges. What I'm going to do is grab the edges here, and I'll do a connect. It connects right over here, boom. And that puts a line down through the center of this. And that means the center through the inside and the outside because I selected all the way through. So as you can see here, Look at the center selected on the inside and the outside. Now I could do a few things with it. Maybe I just want the outside first, maybe the inside. Um, I'll do that. So if I double click the edge on the outside, it selects everything there. I'll scale this out so it has that nice kind of look. I'll grab the inside one, double click that, and scale this in. So it also has a nice kind of look. And that concludes a really nice, basic looking, but pretty fancy holiday star.